eventually he was a beast with that utilization of a Pokemon known as Blastoise. But this time it has been denied. So definitely have to see what is going to be the approach. Learn from past on the other corner is also trying to get the best out of it. And for now, farming is going to be very important. That leveling up scenario is going to be very, very important with the Kung trying to get the advantage in the mid lanes and then We'll get to see a lot of interesting paths, but if we talk about the top line contestant, we have a defender, Slowbro, going for some goals, and even this portal is going to do the same. The stacking are very important and specific, specifically if you talk about Vanquish and all. If they level up a little bit faster for them, it can find a lot of value. Even we see that Glaceon was uh, given a chance to go for those uh, jungle in those uh, mid lane, and also we saw Kung Fu, who still don't evolve to Uchifu, might find a value. Who might give some very drastic damage to Cliffable, but finally manages to get the KO as well. While Squirtle cannot be stopped, Almighty is trying his level best, but always Hoopa is there to provide this support. And fraud on Hoopa is one of the most deadliest thing that, at least as an opponent, I would not expect him to play. Well, 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 let's see what happens then from pass. From the start, they are trying to get a good score in their favor. Pretty soon, yes, at that 7 minute marker, we'll get to see a lot of Reggie fights coming in. But even before that, the Ultravian Swap Blues are actually at the contest. And there you go, the advantage goes in the favor of the England from pass. The Icicle Spears are going to be there. And it will obviously push down the players. But look at this, Rupa again changing the whole oh. game. But eventually, even before that, it is going to be a Squirtle getting a KO. Which was not at all expected at that point, but obviously due to that KO, things have started to change a bit. And in the mid lanes, we'll again go to see a lot of contestants between the Yoshifu and the other Pokemon like Umbreon coming in. The Glaceon over there and also with the Cliffable approach, this will be very interesting. But Yoshifu with the with the Hoopa combination, with that stack, maybe they're going to get the best out of it. But there you go, Mew with the Solar Beam, I do believe, was able to find another one. And eventually one more KO coming in. Yes, the players of Team s Esports are once again getting melting down. Lapras goes in to secure another 11 goals. I would say a complete uh, successful invasion from the side of Learn from Pass. They found a lot of value in reading the number of Vesic well, but All Might, given that opportunity on the top lane, instantly gets a 27 score for his team. He knows those continuous scoring will help a lot to build the experience EXP up for SA2 players. All the other players will be also getting a little bit of help, but the mid lane contention from both the teams is looking pretty dominant from the side of Learn from Pass. With that Ushifu getting shelled up with the Mew, again getting a lot of support from the back end is always helping that. But Mean Look will be there to trap Lapras for some time. But SETUL, they have to find a lot of value. With there, there's not a big difference if you just talk about the scores, but in terms of leveling up, Ushifu is on level 8, which can be a little bit troubling for SETUL. But we can see a complete four stack push on the bottom lane. Yes, the Mean Look might be working a lot, but that Blizzard and Avalanche will be pushing down the uh, early a little bit back and will buy a lot of yeah. time for SETUL to make a fallback. Well, indeed, the city of is going to make a move a little bit on the back of the road, but right now, look at that. The hyperspace holes are again going to give the team learn from pass an advantage to just completely change the momentum in the long road areas. But there you go, in the bottom lane, we do see our KO coming in, and that's Hoopa, who is out of the equation. Also, the units are being dumped over there, and if you talk about the stole of the Reggie Steel, it is going to be in the favor of team learn from pass, and now they're trying to once again tackle and get some good KOs. But let's see, oh, the Mew goes in with the solar beam and eventually was able to get a lot of damage in a favor. But is it enough to completely put down the uh, the players coming in from SATL Esports as the major question is all about. But there you go. Glacian already on the verge of getting KO'd, but eventually will be able to escape and get the Citrus Berry so that they can actually be back with the right amount of HP so that they can fight back in the scene. Again, another solar Aww. beam. A lot of solar beams are being utilized by that individual. Uh, Calmon, if I'm not wrong, is the name. But yes, he's still being effective. And uh, there you go. Once again, once again, we might see some solar beams coming in. And there you go. <laughs> Steals the Ulterian Swap Blue once again. Kyle is actually playing a very crucial role. We see on the top lane, even Cliffable is probably the one trying to hold back the uh, Wotortle at this moment. Glacian steps in, trying to find out some value. He gives a lot of damage instantly. We see that Avalanche Blizzard coming up with this. The KO arrives in the favor of SATUL. The top lane, Rejuliki, will be very, very much needed for them. Because learn from pass, they have capitalized in the bottom lane, Reggie, by the Unite being committed by Mew. The Mystical Mirage comes into the play, but the Solar Beam instantly gives a lot of damage. But that to Reggie Licky is giving that kind of damage, which will be troubling SATUL a lot. They are, might be going for the last minute still steal because Mew, he has got the Solar Beam waiting for the right moment to strike in. And there goes, there it goes, but it cannot make that value SATUL's... Pacha gets the final steal for himself and SCT and manages to get this Reggie Leaky with the Unite being committed. Urshifu yeah. doesn't has not been allowed oh. a lot. A lot of Unites being committed right at this point. Umbreon as well as Glacian commits two Unites at the very same time, trying to start, you know, 
tap out Mew at this point and instantly gets the KO and SAT will decides to make a fallback. Well, 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 look at that. The Hero Spin is still going to come in and there you go. The oh. Unites are being utilized, but eventually the players are going to TP back and Lapras again. The tank is not being that useful for now because he's getting suppressed a lot. But now look at this, the Glacier and Umbreon combination is definitely working out. Once again, Hoopa will be able to help them out so that they can be ready with the right amount of HP and fight back. Learn from Pass definitely was able to build a very good uh, lead initially, but now it is SCTD Esports who has got that lead of 20 good points in the favor. But still, that lead might not be consistent enough because in the lower areas, if you talk about the bottom lane, once again, the contestant will be there. The Solar meme goes in, Rex again gets damaged a lot. He's going to take a huge chunk of HP from even the Blissey as well. But still, uh, Cliffable, sorry, my bad. Uh, but still, not enough uh, to completely put the players down. Essentially, he's supposed still. They have got that advantage. They've got that upper hand. But uh -oh. now, a complete cycle will be coming in onto the top lane with the seal of that alternative swap loose. Yes, things are changing. But there you go. The KO comes in on Slowbro by the Blastoise. And not just that. We will get to see a lot of goals being dumped. And also, the tier 1 goal zone has already been destroyed onto the top lane. Oh, this is a lot of thing. Hoopa has committed with that oh, new knight instantly. We can see uh, even nine tails coming up with those new knights. You dumping it right over to stop the push coming up from learn from oh. pass because the top lane has been breached already. But it seems Umbreon being completely slowed down by the players of learn from pass. But now they want this Reggie Rock very desperately. There is a bit of chance that Blasters will be committing this new knight, but cannot find the value as it's Glacian who gets it for SATUL. But Ushifu, if he manages to escape, it can be a big blunder coming up from SATUL. But now the stack push coming up from their side might trouble learn from pass because they're trying their level best to defend this bottom goal zone for themselves because it has not you know considered a single goal from the side of SA2L but once again Lapras is there Hoopa is there but will it be enough to stop it it doesn't seem like because there's just 12 more goals that is needed for SA2L to break it and they will be going up with the overdunk of at least 40 score make it to 231 for SA2L that was a 50 goal coming in from Team SA2L Esports and with that look at the lead now SA2L has got. They really don't want to go out of the equation right now and eventually if we talk about Team Learn from past years, they have to really consider the fact that the Rikwaza, the legendary boss is going to come pretty soon and they have to melt it down so that they can have the advantage. On the hand side, SA2L Esports is trying to now farm a lot when it comes to their Unite moves. Three Unites move have been utilized from both the particular teams. Actually, SA2L is done and dusted with four Unites so they are currently waiting for their next chance to actually get those Unites and replenished and then they can fight back in the scene. If you talk about the Cliff trying to get the best out of that equation he has got 40 good AOS energies he can go for the gold dunk but in the bottom lane again the contestant will be coming in there he goes the Hoopa there goes the other individual Lapras but Lapras and Hoopa are once again going to utilize their own skill set moves and eventually fall back a bit but now the melting dance scenario oh. is going to work out and that's a steal from a slow bro interesting was not even expecting that Exactly, all my hopped in in the last moment and almost when it was like Blastoise will definitely secure this Regiliki. It was Slowbro who did the job in the Regiliki. If they went for any score, it could have been very, very much worthwhile. But now it, they decide, learn from past. They want to melt down this uh, Rayquaza no matter what it takes. While well, SATL will try to defend and get the counters in the right moment. A lot of uh, solar beam damage is coming. All Might has already committed with his Unite, which it seems like it can be troubling. A lot of Unites being committed. Hoopa comes up with a rinse and bounce. Damage that's being done by Mew as well. They need to shut off the long range attackers, but it seems the Unite being coming at dominated from Mew will find a lot of value. Well, still, still, SA2L, they're fighting back. Oh, they are putting a hard competition over there right now. Pretty soon, I believe Lapras can be KO'd. There's a big possibility that Lapras might actually get KO'd because he does not have the HP. And due to that, look at this. Learn from Pass had to fall back a bit. But now Blastoise is once again trying to enter the side. The defender Rex is going to move forward. Solar Beam also comes in. The Hydro Spin is maybe going to help them a lot. But I really have to see how that play is going to work out. The defenders are backing out. And eventually, the damage on Rayquaza is also coming in. Pretty soon, the stack might be there on Rayquaza on the legendary boss one. But yes, there is no such sneaky goals, sneaky goals to be precise coming in from both the individual teams. Uh, team Learn From Pass can actually go for a sneaky one onto the first goal zone in the bottom lane. They can really go for it. But for now, they have decided that they are going to contest this mid lane and they are unable to get the best out of it. A lot of Unites once again getting dumped out. Look at that. The Solar Beams are coming in. Uh -oh. Hydro Spins are coming in. Oh, this will be interesting to watch. Let's see who gets the KOs. It's going to be Ninetail who gets Hoopa. With that, the keeping back scenario is not going to even work out for a brief moment for these individuals. Rex again, being the tanker, is trying to get the best out of it. And there you go, SAT will. It's Glacier who gets the best out of it. And with that, now it is going to be Team SAT will Esports who is for sure going to win it because they've got the shields, they've got that advantage, and they've got plenty of 50 good goals. I mean, there's going to be at least 500 goals being dumped right over here from Team SAT will Esports' perspective. 
Oh, what a play and specifically the way they defended the Rayquaza, not allowing Learn from Cast to even enter the legendary pit. You can just see they invaded, they pushed him to their own jungles also. You know, pushed him to that extent that they had to commit with all those Unites. Even Blastoise, who was, you know, uh, you know, keeping his Unite alive with himself, keeping it to just go for the last minute steal, if it was possible, last minute secure from his side, was almost pushed to his limits that you have to go for the Unite. There is no other chance. Vanquisher, he did try a lot, but what a game. All Might with those eight assists, he came. Cursed also, you know, put up a lot of efforts with that Glacion. But altogether, the way SA duel, they have put up the first match. It was a competitive, competitive one that we have to, you know, also uh, give credits to learn from past because of all their efforts that they have put in th in this match. They have pushed SA duel to a good extent as we ca we literally saw a few minutes back. But SA duel, the way they had the entire control in the final stretch fight, it was amazing. Right, definitely, I do believe that kind of pressure is going to be absolutely enormous on the players of Team LFP. But apart from that, when you talk about the individuals coming in from the players of Team SA Theories, first, once again, the approach is pretty much similar. They are trying to stick with the top lane um, entry and eventually in the bottom lane, we do see some other Pokemon also trying to go ahead and get the best out of it. And if I talk about the stacking up scenario, it is going to be eclipable and along with that, we'll get to see that Buzz Wall hiding in the bushes. But now, Squirtle is getting damaged. So obviously, he's getting oppressed, but it's really supposed to really want to go for that dumping down of those two goals. But I have to see if that is going to be a successful scenario or not. But indeed, yes, we get to see those two goals coming in. Along with that, Ahupa is getting the contest over there, along with the that I believe Squirtle is also going to come. So there you go. Stacking up scenario works out between Star Squirtle and Hoopa for now. But still Buzzwall might be getting KO'd pretty soon, but no, it will be Glacier oh. also coming in as the X Factor. So yes, the players from SA Real Esports have to back out, otherwise there is going to be a very early KO coming in. That was pretty close. I really thought that Glacian could actually find the value of All Might on the top. While we see also Gardevoir joining the party, trying to support Curse, he hops in with a slight shock. He was waiting for it to come up very fast and the side shock always, you know, finds a lot of value in the early game if you can use it in the right moment, especially this Alterian Swap Blue. This is going to be very important, a lot of damage being done to Blast, you know, at this point, the Buzz Bowl. But Cardevoir becomes the prey for Vanquisher at this time and instant the trade has been taken up by All Might with that beautiful KO coming up from his side. He also evolves to Warthottle and instantly backs out. He knows that how important for is it for him to survive in the long run, but also Bacha needs to take care that he needs to develop as fast as possible. He's using the Fell Stinger, but I will be waiting whether he's going with the Snipeshot or Liquidation. Yeah, definitely it really matters what kind of combination you are going to go with that particular ability. But for now, if you talk about the dumping of goals, it is going to be learned from Pass who has started to dish out some serious scores. And at the same point, I have to say that uh, even Team Essential Esports is not going to lag behind. There you go. The Trevenant is going to dump a uh, serious 44 goals coming in. 42 goals if I'm not wrong. That's a huge score coming in from Team Essential Esports. And now the whole lead completely shifts between uh, the players of Essential Esports. So it looks good, but we will get to see a lot of sacking up scenario coming in once again. There goes the slow bro. Getting a lot of damage, but with that, Trevenant is also getting surfaced with a lot of damage as well. Oh, the points are coming in, but Glacier will be able to find Hoopa. Was not at all expecting that, but yes, with that KO, things are now trickling back, uh, trickling down for Team Mr. Release was because they were trying to level it, but meanwhile, that KO is definitely going to stop all of that. Again, some points. Oh, interesting. Alim definitely gets surprised with that. Ah, uh, finally, the snipe shot coming into play from the side of. Uh... Into Leon, and I was really waiting. I knew that Bacha will be going with that snipe shot, and kind of a lot of damage it can give you if he's in a long range and if it connects properly. So you have to be very aware, and for the secures, it can be a major factor. But Buzzwool, he just barely survives by that psychic damage. But instantly, if you just talk about the scores are coming up from the side of SCUL, and Almighty is pushing Clippable to its limits as three of them are just stacking. Scores while he has got still 14 more scores to come up, and yes, Clipable he goes down, gives a lot of opportunity to come up with some big scores. And now, just four more scores left for this top gold zone to get completely perished by the side of SCTUL. But in the bottom lane, we do see a steal coming in of that Reggie from the players of Team Learn from Pass. If I'm not wrong, it was the Glacian who was able to get the best out of it. So it's good to see that they've got their buff, but I really want to see how that advantage is going to work in the favor of Team Learn from Pass because SCTUL, they have decided from the start that they're going to take that lead. They're going to take multiple KOs. Oh, Mew goes in with the Solar Beam. Was able to inflict some serious damage, but not enough to completely put the players down. Rex on the other corner. Really wants to go with some good boings, but for now, he's waiting for his support. He's waiting for his uh, 
I guess uh, Pokemon should really be aligned at the same point so that they can perform. On the other corner, Hoopa still inflicting a lot of damage, but essentially he's first on the top lane. It's All Might who's never going to stop. He's getting a few more damages, and with that spin, he's going to really back up from the scene because Buzzwall combination might actually work out a lot. And also in the trees, we do see in the bushes we did saw Mew coming in for the later part, but in the bottom lane now it is a stack up situation coming in for those Alterian Swap Blues. Oh. But Inteleon comes with the steal for that Regini key. Now with that, yes, the contestment for the tier two goal zone in the top lane is definitely going to be there, and I do believe as it will might actually get the best out of it. Oh man, it was very important, and the snipe shot is doing wonders. Oh my God, he just. Managed to dodge wow. it, Buzzwool. This could have made the difference oh, for the United being committed by, by All Might as well as the Glacian steps in, but a lot of values That's converting crazy. in the favor of SCT. Well, the Regiliki hits it, and all as always being said, Intilion comes up with some big scores as well. Now it's time for Hoopa to make a fall by Kurum and Rex. Instantly will be popping up in the bottom lane, but instantly the points coming in the wooden hammer, stunning it out. The Hornley is just trying to pull a limb towards their goal zone because they knew they can just stun it out. A lot of damage trying to be done by the new but still Hoopa manages to survive. And the hyperspace hole will bring him back to that spawn again coming up in front of him. The battlefield might be causing him a lot of trouble because we see LFP, they are struggling a lot in the bottom. I mean, once again, pretty much similar story, Ryan, as to what we witnessed in the first matchup. But again, they are trying to take the advantage of like Reggie Rocks and Reggie Ligia, but it is actually getting stolen every now and then. But this time, it is going to be the Glacier once again taking that Reggie Rock in their favor. But the rings and bound changing a lot of things. The point goes in from the Trevenant. We might see a possible KO coming in. And once again, Team Assetoli Esports was able to completely deny that advantage that the other team learned from past hard after taking that Reggie Rock in their favor. Look at this. A very impressive approach coming in from those individuals. And once again, the TP back scenario might actually work out Alternian Swap Blue at the contest. Again, wild Pokemon are something which everybody is trying to aim for. But look at Gardevoir, already at level 12. That level buff is definitely going to make wonders. Oh, uh, you won't be liking if Gardevoir can just comes up and, you know, spoils your entire game. But at this point, even with all those units, it's not working. Gardevoir commits a unit for sure, but instantly the points mm. come in. New gets completely taken down. The Spy Vision is active from the side of Inteleon. Those knife shots will be causing a lot of trouble and that those are actually making a lot of connection. And also, when you have Gardevoir alongside you, those kind of psychic damage as well as those side shocks will be, you know, giving a lot of trouble for the side of LFP, but they're pushing it hard. Prevenant hops in. Buzzwool is barely surviving in a very low HP. Intelion might just make a good connection, but we see Mew coming from the back in that solar beam will give a lot of damage and instantly in the 3D in that complete radar, it might be possible that they, he can find a lot of value. But oh look at this! Oh, the hyper type comes in, but still they managed to survive in such a low HP, but still All Might is contesting for it, he's trying for it, but he will be finally put down by Mew as what happened is LFP, they've managed to come back very successfully thanks to the side, the healing that were done by Clipfield. Well, 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 it does feel like that. Here, Team Asset Elite Sports has got the gist of how they have to perform and their Hydro Typhoons are working out, their Hyperspace Holes are working out and also, if we talk about the Rings Unbound, a lot of things are definitely in the favor of Team Asset Elite Sports right now. And look at this, once again, the Hyperspace Holes are absolutely on point as shifting the momentum and maybe there is going to be a seal of that Regili key coming in pretty soon. Let's see who melts it down. Oh, it's oh. going to be the Blast Choice coming in from the Team Asset Elite Sports. Once again, the Tier 1, or should I say Tier 2 goal, are already destroyed and with that, the base goal zone is something which we are looking at and I'm definitely looking forward to see how Learn From Past is going to enact in that way. But look at this, Lobro is already having the advantage of securing some good goals in the bottom lane. Maybe things will change uh, because the Trevenant and the other Pokemons are also trying to now stack up onto the bottom lane. They're going to completely destroy this particular T1 goal zone in the bottom lane. There you go, Gardevoir. Oh, oh curse gets stopped. He was about to score a 50, but he gets stopped by this Lobro. Oh, those oh, nice shots go. making the connection there instantly. You, go, mate. you won't just escape from his complete, uh, I would say, that radius. No, no, no way. Yeah. Intilion will be just finding you no matter what it takes. But that kind of heavy scoring down in the bottom lane, uh. instantly punishing each and every. The healer is down for LFP. This is a great time for SATUL to, you know, melt the Rayquaza. But they will be just looking forward to defend. And you can see the level dip happening from their end. 
Yeah, I mean, they, they, uh, there is already a situation where Team Central Esports has got a very serious buff when it comes to their level. The snipe shots are working out. Look at that, Intellion waiting patiently. I mean, Bacha at that moment is absolutely on. Oh, look at the damage. Look at the damage that Slowbro is getting inflicted with. Trevenant goes in for a boing. But with that, the rapid spin is also going to help the Blasters a lot. And I believe at this point, Team Central Esports has got a very clear approach that they're going to deny the whole control of the Legendary Pit from the place of Essex, from the place of Learn from Past. But Buzzball has got a different plan. He's going to go for a 70 and oh. that is something which might actually help them to convert the lead in their favor but they have to do in a rapid pace they have to get many more AOS energies dumped over there in the tier 2 and tier 1 goal zones and that is something which is going to be scary to be precise but look at this the control has been lost there is going to be oh, a pressurizing oh. situation in the uh, legend repeat and the snipe shot goes in Trevenin goes in with the ultimate as well hydro typhoon is also there a lot of unites the rings are not being utilized but let's see who gets a ko not even a single ko but finally we do see a cliff into ko coming in not just that we might see a few more oh, Oh. And there you go, the blast noise goes down. As well oh. is absolutely on fire. But with this, maybe things will change. We have to see how that Intellion and its snipe shot is going to work now. Oh, this is a great opportunity. LFP, it's a big chance for them to secure the requires. But Intellion is there. This is Thanks a lot of time being done for Nation. He just gets it. He steals the requires. It's a big opportunity for LFP to come up with the big scores. And we see Mew walking towards the top path. It's a big opportunity for Intellion to go with this combat clip will, will be there to stop him down. That's a 243 for them. They need to stop this 50. They made it possible. SCT will. They're defending it hard, but Buzzwool, he has got a great oh. opportunity to go with this. But if he can oh. manage it up no, and no, see no, no, it no, is no, going no. to go, it is going. The 50 down comes in. Is it LFP who takes his second one? It is. It was a very, very close battle, but it seems that LFP, they might have won it. Uh. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Bro, like just 18 points. Just 18 points is what Team LFP uh, was able to get when it is compared to Team SAT Esports. What a play coming in from LFP. Like they were able to melt down the requires. From the start, they were getting denied of that advantage of that entry point to the legendary pit, but they were able to completely encircle it around. And thanks to that buzz wall initially. Just by being in the lower bracket. So we have to just wait and watch, but it seems the match has already been started. Uh, we see the same draft pick coming up from both the end. There is no such changes. But what I'm really concerned about is will All Might get the chance? Because it seems that he's being trampled by uh, Buzzwell as well as Cliffable to not allow him to get this course. Well, Hoopa, he will be coming to just stop Buzzwell till a little bit of extent, giving a chance uh, for All Might to level up for himself and get the stacks done. Well, indeed, the stacking up scenario is definitely working out for both the individuals because that Hoopa along with that uh, Squirtle uh, looks absolutely deadly and they are able to secure some serious goals initially. But now look at them. Again, the Squirtle has to go for that 10 euros energy to be dumped over there in the tier 1 goal zone coming in from the top lane. In the bottom lane, we do have a different storyline because Mew and the other Pokemon is already over there trying to have a tussle. And it is going to be a slow bro if I'm not wrong, which is pretty close to Mew as the defender is just going to give that advantage to his attacker. But yes, Intellion and the other individuals are also going to make a move over there. And there you go, the Hoopa once again brings in the hyperspace holes. Evolution will be coming in for Cliffable. And still, it is going to be the players of Team LFP on the top lane who has got that advantage, who has got that evolution factor in the favor and is playing a vital role. But in the top lane, uh, there was a contestment, but in the bottom lane, it is going to be a Glacier who is going to find the Trevenant out of the equation. They found, a, they found a loophole and they completely executed it. Look at the scores coming in from LFP. Not able to stop it. SATO Lee Sports, they know exactly what to do. But LFP, they're just proving so much better. Maybe uh, they're just using the same tactics as SATO did in the very first match. And going with the same stats that uh, you showed us, it's, it can be a good challenge for them as well. LFP, finding those early values will be very crucial. While Buzz Bowl, He's trying to get some values, but Almighty is pushing him to the limits with those uh, hydro pump for himself. But once again, SATU Elite Sports, they have to keep themselves alive. In the, if they want to keep themselves alive in this competition, they have to come up with some different strats, some different tactics. Maybe uh, trying to get the Rikwaza fight done in the final stage can be some different kind of approach than what SATU will be looking forward to. Yeah, the final stretch. That is something I'm actually worried about for 
the perspective of SA Total Esports because they lost their control in the initial matchup. But in this one, yes, again, it is Team Learn from Pass who is taking that initial control, and uh, they've got a very serious amount of like let's say huge points coming in. Also, the level buff is looking absolutely amazing. But you know, so on the other corner, is already at level eight. The upper space holds are active, which is going to get that momentum shift. And also with that. Minosaur is going to go with the solar beam and it is working out shamelessly. Mew also decided to go with it but eventually was unable to get the best out of it. Yes, there was a KO coming in. Vanquisher already at a very low amount of HP. He can be taken down but there is nobody who is really tracing him and he is going to go with the citrus berry. And with that, the solar beams from Mew is also going to come so that they can farm out those wild Pokemons. They can level up ASAP because look at the leveling up scenario coming in from the place of the city. Because their attackers, they are definitely looking good. They are at level 8. Reggie Aliki is now being in the contestment and they are trying to melt it away and on the bottom lane i do believe the reggie rock is also going to be kept interested by the players but with this the tier one gold zone is now pretty much empty and uh, it is actually pretty open for those individuals to go with but until you yes eventually will be able to seal it out and the swing shots are actually working out Looking forward to those top lane contention at this point oh that spy vision has been activated will be giving a lot of damage but that solar beam again will be troubling mew too mew as for now my bad but well, the hyperspace almost comes up in the right moment. We'll be giving a lot of uh, chance to make a fallback for all the other Pokemons and also get the heal done. But we see everybody stacking on so only at one single lane. The top lane has already been breached, so it gives a lot of advantage for LFP to go with the bottom lane approach. They want to take the entirety of the control, but the snipe shot did make a little bit of contact, but you just survived with just a little damage. But still, the wooden hammer trying to find a lot of value. Really, it seems that LFP they're looking forward to just stick all together up close and take the mm -hmm. final fire, take those battles and contest all together to you know trouble SATL. Yeah, definitely, those stacking up scenarios are working out because they do know that the other individual has other team to be precise has got that Hoopa, which can easily bring in that stacking up scenario with the hyperspace holes and also the rings unbound can be very very interesting to watch for that reason learn from past is definitely sticking up uh, with their own formation oh that ko looks deadly and with that yes vanquisher is going to have that advantage he's soon going to be of level 10 which is again going to give that pressure onto the place of team as but despite the fact that their own individual pokemons are at level 10 and 11 they are still unable to bring that output like this definitely is about to get KO, but he falls down to his uh, tier 1 goal zone in the bottom lane which is going to give them the advantage to heal up once again. The snapshots are again getting intact. Will Singer and Snapshot, the best combination that you can really have right now from these individuals. Oh, look at that. He is using that to really go for the wild Pokemons. Can actually inflict a lot of damage onto the uh, other Pokemons from Team Learn from Pass. And look at this. Buzz Vault does not have that stack of Clippable along with him. Oh. So that Solar Beam could have been a very chaotic one. The Surf comes in from Blastoise. And yes, Bank Fisher is going to be successful in backing out from that scene. Gonna go for the Citrus Mary so that his HP is going to be recovered. And then he's gonna fight back. But the squishy one, the Mew, gets taken down. Mew can be troubling, but it seems Intilion he wants to clear off all the long grass, tall grasses on the mid path. But instantly, giving a big room for Buzzbolt to go with the scores, he will be getting that 40 up for himself. LFP, they're coming with some very decent scores, but a top lane has been reached by SATUL and now they're trying to melt down the Regiliki as fast as possible because this is a big opportunity. Vanquisher is still not in the area, not in the close proximity. The solar beam as well as those night shots made a difference and the Regiliki will be pushed down towards the tier 2 on the top lane. And as of now, SATUL, they're also trying to push LFP away from the Regi Rock. And they want to melt it too. They want to secure both the Regis in the FA while the Clippable can be a little troubling as all my. He wants to flush him down from that position using that Surf. But the Mystical Mirage being activated by Mew is a little late. But I really don't think it will find a lot of value though. Still, Buzzbowl with those beautiful scores have already breached down and destroyed the tier, first eight tier goal zone in the bottom lane. Both in the top lane and bottom zone, bottom lane, the tier 1 gold zone has completely destroyed and we do see a lot of chaos coming in. It's going to be slow bro who gets two. Glacian on the other corner who finds Trevenant and Mew finds Hoopa. Oh, the only individual which is right over there is going to be Intellion. He's going to fall back and he has got a level 12. Snapshot being still utilized. The Felsinger and Snapshot again. That similar combination as to what he was utilizing in the initial phase as well is going to be the case. There you go. Taking down the players, alternating swap blue once again gets contested. 248 from the players of team learn from pass, and now we go to that tricky path pretty soon where the Rikwaza, the legendary pit, is going to get opened, and the Rikwaza boss man will be coming in. Oh, that new is still being very effective. That solar beam is looking absolutely amazing. The only disadvantage that you have with Snapshot is basically it can be predicted and um, you can really escape from it by just a single move. 
Yeah, I mean, that that's a kind of factor that plays, but oh, once again, the snipe shot comes in and also oh. the following up with that solar beam. Both does not had a, a big impact, but the snipe shot every time, not every time it's making that connection, it's really not working out the way Bacha wanted it to be. That's why maybe we see many of the players going for the liquidation at least because it makes a sure hit, that's for sure. Yep, as we just see the Rekwaza spawns in the final, in the legendary pet while Learn From Pass, they do have a brilliant lead while SATUL, they have to be the one to take the control and melt down the Rekwaza in order to win this final battle. But LFP, will they be able to stop SATUL from doing it? Oh, too many snapshots being missed. Oh, look at that, another one. I mean, this is something which is going to be very uh, tricky and uh, very, like, let's say, uncomfortable for those individuals to go with. But look at this again, the waterfalls are being utilized. It's a Tremonent which is about to get KO'd if the support does not come in. But KO is not going to be that easy. He's going to fall back once again. All thanks to that Hoopa with the hyperspace holes. They're going to be back with the HP. And the solar beams are also coming in. Once again, they're trying to deny all that entry. But is it really scores? Yet to score a serious score. And that is something which is going to make them worry. The Intilion goes down. Even after he had the level buff, also the Tremonent has been KO'd. This is looking like a mass for Team LFP. There's nothing that Team Assyrian can really do to completely deny that fact. They can easily go for a steal, but the rings and bone might actually change all the thing. And there you go. The lead might be getting converted pretty soon by the place of SFP Esports. This could be anybody's. Oh, oh, it is going to be a steal again from Glacier, and it's done. LFP is going to move forward in the low bracket round number two, but SFP Esports are about to get denied of their existence in the Pokemon Unite India 2023. Ah, oh, this is not at all looking good. This is not at all looking good for the place of Team SFP Esports. Look at that. Both the tier goal zones. Have been destroyed now. It all trickles down to the base name goal zone where the scenes are about to get destroyed. But still, is the Buzzwall who has got a stack of 100, which is still remaining. He can go for it. Oh my god, this is definitely not anybody expected. SHUL, they again messed it up in the final stretch. Not only the final stretch, but also in the entire game. We did not see a lot of control happening from the side of SHUL. But oh my god. Uh, the composition, the kind of strategy that they came up with did not work out. It's all done and dusted. LFP, another 100 coming up. They know it's the deed is done. The one who won the WCS India qualifiers have eventually been eliminated from Pokemon Unite India Open 2023. SATUL. They just walk away with nothing, not a single win. This is a big, big blow towards the champions. Well, completely disheartened to be honest to see what happened to Team SATUL in this particular matchup. I was not at all really expecting this kind of play coming in from SATUL. But the results are clear. It is going to be Vanquisher which is going to vanquish the existence of Team SATUL from the whole playoff stage one. And yeah, with that, definitely SA Real Esports is going to have a very big learning curve from here because LFP, they were able to embark a new journey for themselves in the lower bracket and it's going to be round two where they're going to sit comfortable for their next opponent to come. And apart from that, yes, Vanquisher, Kalmon did wonders to be honest. Their KOs, their assist, looks absolutely amazing. A complete team game performance. After losing the first match,